Okay, uh, today before I start my uh, treatment, uh, I have a little bit of uh, announcement. Uh, this coming uh, Wednesday, next Wednesday to Friday, March 27 to 29, there is a clay conference uh, in many other places. Uh, I will be there selling my tools. Um, here is some of the uh, uh, display of uh, my tools that I, uh, I will bring them in and uh, if you are in the area uh, hopefully I can see you uh, my booth number is 131 uh, the uh, conference is called NCCA uh, National Conference on Education for Ceramic Art uh, it's a very good uh, conference if you are in the uh, ceramic field uh, if you live close by, they, they uh, take place every year, so uh, East Coast, West Coast, and the Midwest. So if you live close by or in the future, you have uh, uh, time uh, to go there. And I recommend you go and uh, check it out. A lot of uh, demonstration, a lot of uh, exhibitions, and a lot, lot of uh, dis uh, discussing uh, panels. So uh, it's a very good show to go to, okay? So again, my uh, booth number will be 131 in the uh, resource hall. Uh, I will have a whole uh, display of my tools. Uh, this is just only one of the, the samples that I will be there, right? So today I'm going to do uh, again uh, trimming a bowl. Um, I talked about before that I used to uh, show you in my previous videos that I use water to uh, stick the piece on but uh, to be able to do that uh, there's a very one important uh, skill you need to have is that tap center okay? you need to be able to tap your piece into the center if you put the water there and try to use a hand sometimes the, your piece stick on the wheel head before you can move it so uh, using the tapping method with uh, combined with water is it's easier uh, you know, do this method. Otherwise, um, if you uh, haven't learned how to tap sander, uh, you can just uh, use a clay coil to stick it on. Okay, so I'm going to use. Uh, I know most of you haven't learned how to tap sander yet, so uh, I'm just showing you that uh, you sander your piece and then uh, use a clay coil to stick it on. So you don't need to use water. And what if you're gonna uh, trim the bottom here, the like bottom corner, just, if you put the clay here, uh, the clay coil is gonna be in the way, so you won't be able to trim all the way, except for uh, you uh, using the water to stick it along, okay? So if you are uh, using the coil, uh, I will show you how to uh, how to do that at the very end of my uh, demonstration. And uh, there's a, a new tool that I, uh, I just, uh, can say invent or design uh, so that uh, you will be able to take care of the bottom corner. Okay, so let's uh, center it first. Um, by the way, um, the uh, tap center is a very uh, good skill if you uh, you really want to be able to trim your uh, pieces uh, more efficiently. Uh, try to learn it. Okay, try to learn it. I have uh, several videos uh, showing how to practice. Okay, so just use the clay to make sure that your piece is staying on the wheel head without moving. Okay, and this is my number two trimming tool. So what I'm gonna do is trim usually all the curve like this and the foot my number two trimming tool will be able to take care of all of them, okay? Uh, except for you have a, like this kind of curve, then it's, it's hard to uh, use number two, but most of this kind of curve, you will be able to use number two, and also the foot, you will be able to use the number two to take care of all of them. And then uh, later on, uh, after I trim all of them, I will do the chattering, okay? Chattering using my um, number one trimming tool. So these two are a little bit different. And there's a special design, a special length, and special uh, 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 
thickness so uh, you will be able to chatter easily so this I would say number one is my chatter of course if you're gonna use number one to to determine it's also okay too but somehow you might get the uh, unwanted unwanted chatter so uh, that's the main difference the number two and number one so I will use number one at the last when I'm ready to chatter You see that when I'm trimming them, I, I'm holding very close to the end, okay, the uh, corner here. And I'm trying to uh, brace my fingers together so that the piece doesn't uh, get vibrate. And somehow you, you are getting a chattering mark. Okay, if you, you have an unwanted chatter, uh, just change the angle and change the angle and change the way you hold the tool you should be able to remove that unwanted chatter so I'm just roughly uh, uh, trimming here mostly I will take care of that bottom first So I will uh, roughly have my foot ring here. Then I, I need to remove the clay in the middle. And again, you see that when I'm holding my tool quite firm, closer, and then I get my hand to uh, to brace my tool on my left thumb here. And just go there and take it all the way. Uh, um, the tool, the good tool for my number two trimming tool is actually, you see that there's a little bit clay here on the handle here. Actually, when I'm, I'm put it in, I'm actually using this part to uh, also cut the clay too. Okay. And of course, before you start it, you might want to know how uh, thick the bottom is. Uh, if you don't have the experience uh, how thick the bottom is, I have a special tool that you will be able to measure the thickness of the bottom. Uh, just refer to my previous video. I've been doing a lot of a demonstration on how to use the tool to measure the thickness of the bottom. Uh, for me, uh, I don't need to because uh, I know uh, when to start by uh, just tapping the bottom here. Uh, once the bottom is getting thinner, the the sun pitch higher. Okay, so uh, if you know how, that uh, you you know that when to stop. And if not, uh, you could just uh, just go check out my um, uh, Etsy shop that I have a, a measuring tool that uh, you could purchase from there. I could go a little bit more for my experience. The sun. Okay, uh, this sounds right. Uh, the, the pitch a little bit higher. I don't know if you can tell or not. Uh, however, that uh, if you uh, won't be able to, if you are not able to do that, uh, to tell it, uh, just uh, get that measuring tool. Uh, so now, 
My first uh, uh, treatment is always take it down to the right thickness here. Usually I'd refer to this about three millimeters from uh, the measuring tool that I, I, I showed in my previous uh, video. So once you get this part right, then you need to compare the inner corner and the outer corner that should be at least the same height or even a little bit low on the outside since when we're making the ball, the ball inside has a little curve so the outside could be a little bit lower than the inside corner. So I will first get to about the same height, the outside and the inside. And also this tool is very good that you could use this part and you can take care of both here and this all the same time because all my tool has been bevel all the edges so take it down about the same height the inside and outside and then i know that you need to follow the curve so is that i got a lot of clay here that i could remove it And one other tip for uh, people who uh, who has bought my tools, usually uh, sometimes if you hold the tool wrong, you might get some uh, unwanted lines. When you're holding the tool like this, usually that bottom corner is dragging, so you have lines. If you hold the tool a little bit more like the angle here, then you're shaving it instead of uh, this part dragging it. So, uh, when you find you are dragging lines, hold the tool more cutting, more cutting instead of uh, scraping it. Okay? This is cutting and this is scraping it. And just uh, move the tool slowly. fast and move the tool slowly you will have a, a smoother surface so this is the one way to hold the tool you cut it from the top and then I move it down slowly oh there's another way that I tend to uh, turn my, my, my tool and then move it up from the bottom Cut it and then slowly track my tool and slowly move to the corner. Okay, so it's about right, then I'm gonna do just refine it. I'm usually using the corner of my number two to cut a little indentation there. from the corner from the outside part and then slowly move it in that way yeah, you will be able to make the foot level and cut a small angle here so that the corner isn't too sharp and you can use a finger to just uh, smooth it and the very final stage just uh, refine it Do the very final 
swinging spin the wheel a little bit faster and move the tool slowly so the uh, surface it's gonna be nice and smooth right so that's how I do it okay that's how I do it and this won't be able to touch it here because the uh, the the clay is in the way, but we will take care of that. I will show you how I take care of it. Uh, the uh, less, and for now I'm gonna use the number one trimming tool. I show you that I will use that for chatter. So this is my number one. This part is still longer, and um, I will do three different uh, portion of my tip to do the chatter. So. The very first one I will use that left hand, maybe left half of that, including the corner, and then chatter from here, about one third of it. And then the second one, I will use the right half of it, half corner, including the corner, and do the chatter for another one third. And then the very last, I will use the whole length. Okay, so you will see the difference. Right, so now, let me do the uh, first one, the left hand corner. Okay, it's about one third. Let me stop the wheel, so you see that chatter mark. And I usually uh, draw two lines to uh, define it. One and two, just using the corner. Now my second one. Okay. Right. So you you, you can see the difference. Okay. Let me brush it off. So using the different part of uh, the corner, that you get different part of a uh, different kind of a uh, chatter mark, right? And now I told you that I want to show you my special design tool that you will be able to take care of the bottom corner, that including the rim, including the rim. So this part is in the way, and when you remove the coil, make sure that you be careful. You don't uh, push it so that it, it's not in the center. So still keep the piece in the center. But now, okay, this is my new design of my new invent. Uh, it's a, a CD size, okay, a CD size uh, disc. Uh, actually, it's the same as the uh, CD size. Okay, the same as a CD. But why I don't use a CD? Because you won't be able to see where is the center because the CD is not transparent versus my uh, plastic glass. It's a transparent. Okay, so that's one reason, one of the reasons. And the second one is that when I have a clear and also put a lot of uh, circles on this disc, so the circle, you will be able to find the center easily. Okay, just find a circle and put the circle there and you could find your center easier. Okay. okay. You can turn the wheel and then you will see that some spot that you need to move a little bit. So this one is quite center. Okay. It's very easy to find because I have lots of a circle there. And then this is the, uh, um, Aluminum uh, spinner, or you can say uh, turntable. So this one it turns. Okay, what, why when you hold it on one piece, the other one you could turn it. Okay, I hold my left hand side, and this one can turn. So uh, the design is there's a st still uh, special glue that is just fitting right there. So this piece is fitting right in the center, so it's not moving. So it's fitting in the center, and then when you hold it down, the whole piece. The whole piece is in the center. Okay, so you have this hold down pressure, and when you hold it down, when while you are trimming, you want 
be able to push it away. So that's the design of it. So this uh, special uh, this combined with this turntable is very useful. Uh, one of the students say that this is a game changer because they need to turn it upside down and if they want to trim this part. Okay, so with this, you take care of the problem, right? So now, let me remove the line there. So just hold on to the disc and then it's easy to remove and connect the lines so your uh, curve follow through all the way to the rim. Right, so you see that? By holding on to it, you don't worry about that. You, your piece being pushed away. And now, I told you that I want to put the third uh, cheddar mark on here so you can compare the difference. Okay, still again, hold on to the disc and then one cheddar I can spin the wheel a bit faster. So now you see that I use the whole length of my number one trimming tool. So in one piece that I have three different type of a chattering mark using a different part of different portion of my number one trimming tool. Okay, so this is the disc combined with it and it sits right in there. So in the center, okay. Okay, and all you need to do is clean up. Clean up the rim, and you are ready to go to the base fire. So this is the ball that all the curve follow the route because you will be able to trim this part a little bit using that disc and then I put different three different type of uh, cherry mark on in one piece okay so that is my demonstration today and hope to see you at the uh, NC car uh, conference uh, I will have, have a whole display of all my tools for you to choose from Okay, thanks for watching. Okay, uh, one other uh, function, bonus function that I uh, want to show you to, to share with you. Uh, from my uh, design of uh, this disc, you can see that I have uh, lots of uh, st uh, straight lines too. And you see that if you want to make a foot, like three equal parts, say this is three equal parts here that you can find it and put it there and you can get your three equal parts easily. Or if you want to get a four equal part, it's very easy to find where the location is. It could be uh, three, uh, four, six, eight equal parts. So uh, it's all right here. All the information is on this disk. And let me show you how to uh, how to do that. So this is the center. So three equal part, right? These three lines, that thicker line is uh, it's hard to see, so I put the three lines a little bit thicker, wider, so it's easier for you to tell that this is three equal part. So just make a mark here. This is where I'm going to cut it. And then make a mark underneath. And the mark underneath here. So you find the three equal points. And then uh, all you need to do is just Okay, cut the foot and then this part here. So you see that it's very easy to find your three ego part. You can go back there and just clean it up. Okay, so uh, that's the uh, bonus of uh, this design three equal part four equal part and eight equal parts so it's very easy to use them too 
So that's the other bonus for using this. Because this is clear, so you will be able to see it. Okay. From that, from the top direction to see the, the pattern and find your spot. All right. Okay.